According to the U.S. Census, Asian American and Pacific Islanders make up 5% of the U.S. population, and by 2050, that number is expected to double. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss Asian American and Pacific Islanders in elected office and efforts to increase representation. Hello and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly, and I am joined by Floyd Morey, President and CEO of the Asian Pacific American Institute for Congressional Study. Thank you so much for being with us today. Good to be with you. Absolutely. Now, this is the fastest growing immigrant group in the United States. And when it comes to elected office, how would you say Asian American and Pacific Islanders are faring in the electorate? Uh, you know, we are the fastest growing, and in fact, in California, we have uh, surpassed even the Hispanic growth rate, and absolute numbers were greater than the African American population. Uh, in the elected office, we have not fared as well. Uh, while it's growing and there's more focus put on Asian Americans as voters, uh, the elected office category is not, is not where it should be. And in terms of the power that you think they, they can wield, what could that look like potentially? Well, it's already sort of showing itself. As you look at some of the uh, swing states in this last election, Virginia, uh, Nevada, Asian Americans uh, were very crucial in uh, those elections. Uh, they went from 60% Democrat over to about 73% Democrat, and it became a very important element for the Democratic Party. Absolutely, and I understand that you really are trying to prepare this group to be a part of the electorate and be, be part of being elected officials. The group, the National Leadership Academy, is something that was started some 20 years ago. And how have you been doing so far in terms of helping people and the people that have come to you that need help? Uh, we've done fairly well. Uh, locally, we have uh, people who are in city councils, people who are now mayors, uh, on in-state legislators. As, uh, as well as people in Congress now that have gone through our program. So we're seeing some success. We're seeing some positive movement in elected, electing more uh, Asian Americans. Uh, but, you know, in, in some areas we, we just need to improve and we need to uh, get more enthusiasm from the leaders in those communities. And is there anything different that you might teach someone of a, of a different nationality in terms of getting prepared for, for office, for example? Uh, well, it's not so much that they're a different nationality, it's that uh, they need to be, prepare, be prepared for you know, what the American public is wanting to hear and how they want to hear it. So it's training uh, people for you know, overall politics, not necessarily uh, cultural competency. And typically, how has this group voted? Uh, it depends on, you know, uh, the group because there are many different groups within the Asian category. Uh, newer immigrants have tended to be more Republican, where the ones that have been here longer tend to be a little bit more Democratic. And for those people who are on the other side, the voting population, the language barriers that might be there, how are you dealing with trying to close that gap? That is a big barrier uh, in voting. Uh, there's a lot of training going on to register voters who have language problems, uh, to communicate them what the messages are. Uh, we're, going, we're seeing a lot more in-language uh, political brochures, in-language uh, television ads. And so I think uh, parties are beginning to see that uh, it matters uh, uh, to speak to people in the language they understand. Uh, we have about 10 seconds left. I'm just curious if people have been reaching out to you trying to kind of curry your vote? Uh, well, they reach out to us as a group to help them become better candidates. All right. Well, I want to thank you so much for being with us today. Good to see you. Thank you. And thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Candace Kelly.